This is amazing news for Waves plugin owners and OBS and Streamlabs users. We can now use our audio plugins from Waves on OBS and Streamlabs. If you own any Waves plugins, you probably have something on your computer called Wave Central. Go over there and download the free Waves plugin called Studio Rack. Once you have Studio Rack installed, just add it to your OBS Studio like you would any other VST plugin. And once that pops up, you're going to see something like this. All you got to do is come over here to one of these little plus signs. Click on that and it's going to pull up all of the VST plugins on your computer. And the cool thing is this works with more than just Waves plugins. I can put my Fab Filter plugins on here. I can put my D16 Group Limiter on here plus all of my Wave plugins. Now, the other plugins don't show up right away. You come up to the top right corner, click on the little three lines, hit VST3 and scan for plugins. But it looks like this only works with VST3 plugins and not VST2 plugins. If you're currently watching this, I'm guessing you probably already own Waves plugins and know how to add them to OBS. So I'm not gonna get into that in this video. I just wanted to bring you guys the good news that we can finally use our Waves plugins on OBS Studio or Streamlabs. Probably about a year ago, year and a half, maybe two years ago, I bought Clarity VX and Sibilance, and I was really upset when I found out that Waves plugins did not work on OBS or Streamlabs. But now they finally do, and it's amazing. Unfortunately, I am having one issue with this is for some reason Clarity VX stops working. So when I pull up the Clarity VX, I actually have to remove it and re-add it pretty much every day in order to get it to rework. I don't know why the Clarity VX stops working. That's the only one I seem to be having the problem with. So you might want to double check your plugin chain before you start recording if you're using this. But I'm actually going to go ahead and contact them and report this to them that things aren't quite working properly with it. I don't know if it's always doing this or if it's just Streamlabs and OBS where it's doing this. But I am going to contact them and report the problem. But bottom line is, even if I have to re-add this every day, it's super easy, super simple. only takes a few seconds. And hey, my audio and video should sound good without having to do a bunch of stuff on the editing software. Anyways, I think that wraps this video up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out some more of my videos. They're about to pop up on the screen. We got microphone reviews. We got all kinds of stuff that you might find interesting if you're into audio and some tech reviews. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Lightning out. Have an awesome day. See ya.